Muscle tissue. The study of muscles is called myology or sarcology. The study of muscle movements is kinesiology. Muscles are the structures that help in the movement of bones. There are 639 muscles in the human body. Gluteus maximus is the largest muscle. The smallest muscle is the stapedius. The longest muscle is the sartorius. Strongest muscle is the masseter. The elements required for the proper movement of muscles are calcium and potassium. Muscles are mesodermal in origin. However, the iris and ciliary muscles are ectodermal in origin. Muscles have three primary functions. Muscle tissues have long cells called muscle fibers. These have connective tissue cover. However, they don't have a capsule. The plasma lemma of muscle tissue is called sarcolemma. The cytoplasm of muscle tissue is called sarcoplasm. Within this, there are multiple fine myofibrils. Each myofibril is made of a thick and long myosin filament and a thin and short actin filament. Muscles are of three types. These are skeletal muscles, smooth muscles, cardiac muscles. Types of muscles Skeletal or striated or voluntary muscles. These are voluntary muscles present in the hands and legs. They are attached to the bone and help in movement. Smooth or unstriated or involuntary muscles. They are present in the intestines, digestive system, bladder and eyes. These are involuntary muscles. Cardiac muscles. These are present in the heart. Skeletal or striped or voluntary muscles. These are usually attached to bones via tendons. In a typical muscle such as the biceps, skeletal muscle fibers are bundled together in a connective tissue sheath called endomysium. A bundle of muscle fibers is called a fascicle. The connective tissue sheath connecting it is called perimysium. A group of fascicles form a muscle. The connective tissue sheath covering such a muscle is called epimysium. The connective tissue layers that cover the muscle end together forming a tendon. Smooth or unstriped or involuntary muscles. These muscles are smooth muscles. They are arranged in layers or as tiles. Smooth muscle fibers are uninucleate spindle-shaped cells. The thin and thick filaments of smooth muscles are not well organized and oriented. Such types of muscles are found in blood vessels, respiratory system, bronchi, gastrointestinal tract, intestines, excretory vessels, genitals, and other internal viscera. Therefore, they are called the visceral muscles. They don't have striations. Therefore, they are called smooth muscles. They don't act on our will. Therefore, they are called involuntary muscles. They don't tire and can remain contracted for long periods of time. Cardiac or striped or involuntary muscles. Like skeletal muscle, it is striped. They form the myocardium of vertebrates. Cardiac muscle cells are short and cylindrical with one or two nuclei. They have joints between them to ensure the conduction of electric signals throughout the heart. Cardiac muscles have intercalated discs. These discs are their differentiating feature. These contain gap junctions. An excited myocardial cell quickly excites all its surrounding myocardial cells and causes a complete cardiac contraction. Due to this, cardiac contractions happen uniformly. Therefore, the cardiac muscle is called a functional syncytium. As it has abundant circulation, it undergoes gaseous exchange constantly. Cardiac muscle is involuntary.